Hello again, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Fox coming to you from Digifox Labs. Today we're going to be talking about FIFA. That's right, the globally known organization that runs all football around the world. Now, none of this is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Everything said here is 100% our opinion. So coming to you from the defiant.io, we see here that FIFA releases Genesis NFTs on eve of the World Cup. That's right, the World Cup is coming in roughly about a month or so. And it's no secret that cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology that it runs on is going to be a front runner in all things, essentially World Cup, right? So let's go ahead and look into this article and see what they're going on about. We see here that sports NFTs and ApeCoin staking hit the news this week. We're not going to talk about ApeCoin or anything of that nature or the Board Ape Yacht Club. We're going to be talking about the NFTs in football or soccer as it's known in other parts of the world we see here that more than half the world's population watched the 2018 fifa world cup with the 2020 edition in qatar just months away football's governing body is throwing nfts into the mix the fifa plus collect platform went live on september 22nd with its genesis drop so what is this fifa plus collect well, we went ahead and dived into it for you, so you will not have to be uh, guessing if it's a scam or anything of that nature. Plus, we will provide a link in the description below so that after you watch this video, you can go ahead and play around on the app, which is the official FIFA Collect app. It is similar to what Disney Plus is, right? So this is FIFA Plus, and we can see here, as we scroll further down, the NFT platform is going to be on the Algorand blockchain, which is a proof-of-stake network, and it will be the only place where you can get officially licensed World Cup FIFA NFTs. And we have some of these NFTs. We went ahead and uh, did some testing for every single one of you to show you what is it actually in store what is interesting is it not only covers the male world cup but it also covers the female world cup and they are not a lot to go around currently and not a lot of people know about it because frankly there's an economic crisis going on in the world right so and each pack now the way it works is they are cards and you can see somewhat of a picture right here but they are cards similar to what you get as a child depending on your age where you open up a packet and inside are cards with certain characters but instead of there being cards because this is digital currency that we're talking about and tokens and the like it's an actual video of uh, legendary moments in World Cup history. And another interesting to note is on the FIFA Plus Collect or FIFA Ad Collect, however you want to call it, there's actually free, that's right, it is free, there is no subscription based, free full length matches dating back to the 1950s that you can watch completely for free. You don't have to go on YouTube, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You just go to this website, which is completely free. Again, a link in the description below will be provided to you. And on this article we see from the Defiant.io, they go on to what they were talking about on the um, the Board 8 Yacht Club uh, ape coin. So who cares about that? Because that is not what we're going on about. Going on to the next article coming to you from Decrypt.co, we see here that on the second, they also indicated that the Algorand uh, blockchain is going to be the blockchain to hold all the NFTs. And so we did produced videos about a year or even two years ago indicating that we are extremely bullish on Algorand as a token and trading investment. And we see here on the left part right here, we see Algo is currently trading at 34 cents with a downturn going from 37 cents all the way down to 34 cents within the past 24 hours. Let's go ahead and blow this up to max. And we see here, here is a chart. Now we do not have TradingView, which is the trading platform that we use to do charts up right now. But what we do see just with this simple, easy to look and understand line graph that for those of you that are traders, we see that it looks like it is forming what is known as a double bottom. And we see here from this point all the way to this point, which is roughly around, oh, well, it says that it, this is going back to 1923 and 1924. And I can promise you blockchain technology was not that far back. <laughs> so it is a very new technology. So we're going to say this is more than likely going to be 20, um, 
2020 area, some something of that nature. And then we see here that it peaked up and it came back down. Now, some people say this is a double bottom. Other people say that it is a W pattern. Either way, it is a bullish pattern over the course of multi years. So this would be a great time to start accumulating on a weekly or on a monthly basis to dollar cost average in for the long term, meaning four years out somewhere around there at a minimum. The reason being is the way you measure these moves is you look at the very top and you measure all the way to the bottom and you look at the length of gains within that. Now, unfortunately, we do not have percentages, but what you can see is you just take, let's just say 20 cents here and measure all the way to the top, which is $3. 20 cents subtract $3 is going to be your uh, estimated amount of move from the all-time highs of the previous set mark, which would be $3. So now we are looking at roughly around a $5 Algorand within a few years, maybe even uh, a decade or so. But honestly, we believe it's going to be a few years, primarily because if you want to go back and look at our previous videos we did indicate some tin foil we did indicate some facts as well with the algorithm algorand blockchain being affiliated with governments around the world as well as mit which is a university a major university in the united states of america so that gives you a little bit of background with algorand let's go ahead and go into the fifa plus collect now we go ahead and we go here and we are currently registered with FIFA Collect. Now you do have to register and you will do so right here on the upper right hand corner. You will be seeing that it gives you an opportunity to log in or to sign up. Go ahead and sign up. You're going to need an email address. KYC is not needed initially, but eventually that will come with regulations coming. Uh, more than likely, just go ahead and start doing that. But for those of you that are in America, there is a high probability that if you do KYC, YC, it is going to flag your account, at which point there is a possibility that you will be limited on certain things that you could do. So such as selling your NFTs. Now we see here, if you scroll within here, you see the reveal, collect and enjoy. We see here that there are a total of 478,000 packs that still remain. That is out of, I believe, 500,000 packs. This is very new. Now, if you think about this, right, when the World Cup starts getting traction, when it starts being advertised on a global scale, which is already starting to do so, this is going to go to zero very, very soon because there's only going to be this many available. No ifs, ands, or doubts about it. That is packs. Now, each pack consists three cards. So let's go ahead and multiply multiply this by three. And right now, we are going to have roughly around 1.5 million different uh, videos or cards available for purchase. That's it. And now if you go back to this article right here on the defiant.io, it indicated that there were billions of people, half the world's population watching the World Cup. If you don't know what the population is of the world, it is roughly around 8 billion people. So you're talking about 4 billion people that more than likely are going to want to purchase something of the World Cup. And for $4.99, that is quite a bargain. Now, it is no secret that some individuals do not have that. Some people spend this much money or sorry, they acquire this much money within a month. That is just the way their economics work in their country. And it's very sad and very unfortunate. But for those of you in Western countries that have the opportunity, more than likely you will be buying more than one pack. So that's how fast these will go once the news starts developing. We are giving you some alpha news right here because frankly, there's not that many that have been sold as of now. And we see here that they have their own fan page or Discord, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, different things. Uh, let's see. They also have a marketplace, which we'll go into. Now, as we go to the marketplace, we see here that there is nothing. We actually do own some FIFA Plus NFTs, and they are not sh shown here for availability. Now, no one is able to sell these, and I'm assuming that is because there are still plenty of NFTs available on the packs we see here. Now, if we go to Marketplace, another thing that you have to look at into is the fact that there is no KYC, and FIFA is a huge governing body organization, which means there is going to have to be at some point some KYC. So more than likely, if you want to sell your NFTs, 
you are going to have to go through KYC. That's just the way it is because the way things are moving in the blockchain technology space, it is it is very common for an individual to buy an NFT out of this pack for $5 and flip it for $50, $500, or maybe even $5,000. And you know, the governments are going to want their slice of the pie of your profits. So let's go to our collection and show you what these NFTs look like. Okay, so we have three here and we see here that they are all common. Now it is key to note that you have roughly around, let's see if we can show you, uh no you do not let's go in and showcase let's see here so you do have i believe it's four tiers you're gonna have common rare uh legendary and unique or something of that nature right so let's just go ahead and look at our commons we have three of them uh unfortunately it says it cannot be transferred but here we go this is and these are what you get and it's a video we see here that this is the women's world cup this is the amount that is available for this specific clip oh what a save what a save and we see here this is the usa versus chile and it is trademarked this is an official nft and it gives you the players and so if you're wondering if it's just someone that's just heading a ball into a goal that is absolutely incorrect we see here that it is on the algorithm algorand blockchain here is the identification of this nft indicating that it is one of one within this region or edition so it think of it as what if these players are well known and you actually have an officially licensed fifa governing body nft of a fantastic player so let's go on to the other one that we have let's see how do we go back uh let's, let's just hit back right this is the italy uh nft from the 2002 world cup and this is going to be men's it looks like Brazil or Ecuador. Who is this? This is going to be Ecuador and Italy. Oh, look at that. He just pinched that through all the way through. Cuts it back. Oi! Upper 90, Vietti. These are fantastic NFTs. And in fact, these are similar to what Crypto.com has available. Um, Crypto.com will probably do a video on what Crypto.com has. Uh, Crypto.com has the fully licensed uh, authorization to create NFTs of City A, which is the Italian league, the tier one Italian league. And last but not least, we have one more NFT to show you to give you uh, roughly an idea of what you will be interested in. This is Argentina going back to uh, 1994 World Cup versus, I think, Romania. What a save. Long distance. What a save. Oh, man. And as you can see, you're reliving these moments, right? And they obviously provided some form of AI to help the clarity of it because this is from 1994. So the, the tape in the film is definitely not up to... Uh, the current standards but with technology we could go ahead and make it as best as they can so we see here that if you go to my collection you have all your nfts that you will purchase and this is fifa plus and this is what we're going to be providing uh for you individuals out there that are interested in in this and uh as you can see here fifa world cup qatar 2022 let's go ahead and reject all and you have all these videos available and episodes for you to watch free of charge and we're not going to get into any of these, but uh, if interested, we'll provide a link in the description below. But that is all for today. Happy days, happy trading, and good luck to all you football fans.